I kind of talked about. Oh yeah, so uh, today I got uh, a couple little interviews. There seems to be some confusion among some people uh, who think, oh, if you uh, go to college, go to a four-year university, take welding classes, you're going to come out and you're going to be able to get any welding job you want because you're college educated um, and you're more qualified than other welders. Well, uh, it doesn't work like that. And so what I did is I went up to uh, the college educated professionals here on site. And uh, I'm going to roll those clips in just a second. So, uh, but first, but first, I, you know, I guess that's it. Now, roll the clips. College. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. I didn't drink at all at TIC or whatever I was in college, but now I work for TIC, I drink all the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I graduated from high school in 2006, and then I uh, started college, and that's that next year. How many years? Five years. I liked it so much I had to get an extra Squeeze one. Squeeze an in extra one out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I went for construction management at Minnesota State University, Moorhead. What do you it's, do here? I'm a field engineer. What does a field engineer do? So, a big thing we do is we just kind of facilitate the construction process between the field and the office side. We're kind of like a facilitator. You know, I almost, engineer is kind of misleading, but uh, we're more or less like a, a coordinator or a planner. Uh, right now, I'm working on the phase five outage schedule. So, what we've got to do is first we start off by making a list of activities, to, the things that are going to happen. And then we tie all those activities together with logic, basically, you know, this happens after this, and this happens before this can happen. And uh, we got all that put together for phase four, which is our shutdown. We got that done last week. Right now, I'm breaking out all the man hours in the budget, the budget being the money we have allotted for the shutdown, and we're putting that in each activity so we know what our manpower curves are during the outage. So basically, gives us a sanity check and says, you know, do we have enough people to perform this work? And uh, we kind of play with it. We add a little soft logic after we get that in. What we do is called levelizing. We levelize the manpower and make sure we don't have any big spikes. So we're like one week we need, you know, 120 people and the next week we only need 30 people. We come so career-wise, what's next for you? From uh, field engineer to what? what? What are your plans? What's your five-year plan? Uh, project engineer next. Project so, engineer. So Matt Trossel just there left, you go. and we got Omar here now. That's that's probably the spot I'm in line for next. Right, sounds good. Cool. Thanks, cool. Luke. Slow. Thanks a bunch. College education. What do you do here, and what are you going to be doing in five years? Tell us about it. Where'd you go? What'd you study? Okay, I went to Colorado State University, studied construction management and business administration. Graduated there about four and a half, five years. Started working at CIC as a field engineer doing structural mechanical. Uh, got a window opened up to kind of get in the QC trade, uh, doing well tracking and stuff. Uh, they knew I had a college degree, so they knew I was good with the computer. So that's kind of how I got into the That's world racist, now. by the way. <laughs> that's how I got into a... Uh, quality and then more opportunities opened up for me to go to training and classes and start doing inspections. So uh, over the past five years I've kind of built a, a resume of inspection certifications and my main job out here is to make sure it gets done and I'm the one uh, that signs off once the person's done performing their work and I take responsibility of that work until the client uh, buys off on it. So I'm kind of the middleman uh, in the whole construction phase of the project. You guys build it. I take responsibility and ownership of it, and then I try to sell it to the client. How old are you? 25. 26. What are you going to be doing when you're 30? 30? Yeah, hopefully I'm, uh, I I would like to be either A, uh, project quality manager over a, a lot bigger job, or uh, like an engineering procurement construction job where I can deal with the engineering side, procuring all the materials and building it, kind of a three-phase job. Or hopefully I see myself maybe up in the corporate uh, corporate world.